Well, my plan for this week was to talk about plants to add to your garden for pollinators. But what I think I might do is show you what's actually still happening in my yard. It's full of snow. We had 15 inches of snow a week ago. So we still have snow. It is melting. Um, I see tulips coming up and daffodils coming up. Um, I had, if you remember, I had tulips uh, in my hoop house. Um, I have some that are so far along uh, that I have to bring them outside. So I wanted to show you what's going on with that today. So here's one of my lasagna plantings. And like I said, I've had these actually in the garage and they are just growing so much. I've had to bring them outside because the first layer of this lasagna planting uh, was um, or is irises. And then I have daffodils below that. And then I have tulips below that. Um, but you can see that the little iris reticulatas are really pushing up in both containers. So I have one container over here and I have another container over here. So I'm gonna get them up on some feet so they drain really well. And it's still pretty, it was only 16 degrees this morning. So let me show you the other containers. So here's a container that I had in my hoop house. I brought it up to the garage the other day just because it's growing like crazy. So I have tulips in here, two different kinds, Blushing Lady and Copper Image. And you can see it's just, you know, like they're, they're getting ready to roll here. So I'm bringing, them, I'm bringing them outside. Now I do have some tulips. Let me show you. Now that some of the snow is melting, I do have some tulips. Let's see if I can get out of my shadow here. I do have some tulips that are starting to. Um, well, they were up, they were up, and then you know we had, uh, like I said, we had like 15 inches of snow. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's take a look around, and see what else we have. So I really want to get to. You know, pruning my um, quick fire hydrangeas. I really want to get to pruning the um, red twig dogwoods. They really, they really need some work. Even my spirea ogons need some work. I think it's just about time to get this arrangement <laughs> out of my fountain. Um, I'm gonna coppice, so I'm gonna cut pretty much almost all the way down my two um, smoke bushes right there. Um, I'm also going to take down some of the salix. Uh, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to prune really hard this year. You know, this is our seventh year, and things have been, um, you know, had more than enough time to get established, and they have, but it's time to start looking at, uh, you know, redoing some of these things. So I still have a lot of snow. Um, this is just right off the driveway, so my, my, uh, I did see I had some camassias that were coming up and some daffodils and stuff, but they're they're now buried under that dirty mess. And then, you know, this is the rest of my yard, which is still, you know, really completely under snow. Um, I still have plants uh, like the spireas and stuff that are weighed down by snow. So I really can't start cutting things. So here's a view from my porch. So you can see, I mean, some of the snow is starting to melt, but I don't want to be walking around in beds, but I still have a lot of snow. I have plants way back there, um, cool flowers that are under, well, they, they were under a frost cloth. Um, I probably can't even get the cloth up to look at them. They were alive the last time I saw them. Um, but you know, like this is my deck. I mean, this is kind of crazy, actually, at this point. Um, so not, not going to be out walking around. And, you know, I, I will say the grasses have withstood the winter really well. Here's my winter sowing, finally unburied. I don't actually see any action. Um, and, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm hoping by the end of this week that we're going to be 
Um, we're supposed to be maybe in the 50s all week. Like I said, it was pretty cold here this morning. It was only 16 degrees. Again, um, in case you're the, this is the first time you're uh, at my channel, um, my name is Robin. I garden in Zone 6 in Northwest Connecticut. Um, but we're in a bit of a peculiar location on a mountain. Um, we're pretty high elevation. So three miles down the road in the center of town, there is no snow. It's crazy. I go out of my neighborhood and there's no snow. But we still have a ton of snow. You can actually see our footprints <laughs> out there where we were trying to get some of the snow, really heavy, wet snow, off of some of, you know, like my uh, Japanese maple, the cypress out there, uh, the junipers and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely time to start cutting down the grasses, um, doing some pruning on the hydrangeas, uh, I have some viburnums that even though those bloom in the spring, I, I can't get back there because of poison ivy and everything else um, in the summertime along that whole hedge. Um, so I have to do it now. I'll just have to sacrifice some blooms. Um, but I have an enormous amount of work that I can't get to. So let me give you a little preview from up here because I think it's the best spot for me to show you. So we bought a greenhouse. So there's our generator. So straight across, right in that area right there, is where we're going to put um, our new greenhouse. It's six by eight. It's a PAL RAM. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. But the funny part is, so I'll show you when I draw up the plans. But the, um, I don't even remember at the end of the season, I moved a lot of things around and I didn't actually record it. So until the snow over there melts, I've, I'm not sure what's all in that bed. So I need to rework the shape of that bed a little bit um, to accommodate for that the uh, greenhouse is going to come out um, eight feet. So I need to, to change the shape of that there a little bit. And then I need to change the shape of that here a little bit. Uh, that beautyberry, that calacanthus needs to be cut, cut definitely way down. I'm going to do some stuff on the clethora. You probably can't see that in the shade there. Um, but again, you know, there's still a lot of snow. There's only so much trapping around in the, you know, in the snow that I want to do. I don't want to ruin um, you know, I don't like to be walking on the grass when it's frozen, and I certainly don't want to be walking on the beds. Um, so we're just going to have to wait another day. So one of the things I did want to try to talk about this week, and I'm going to try and get that video together for you, uh, is about pollinators. Obviously, pollinators are really uh, important um, in our gardens. So obviously po pollinators, when we think of pollinators, you know, bees, butterflies, moths, wasps, um, you know, all sorts of insects, uh, hummingbirds, um, and the birds in general, we're reliant on them, they're reliant on us. Um, and it's important to try to plant um, as many things in your garden as you can to help out with pollinators. Um, you know, if you have a choice between two different plants, you know, if you if there's a plant that um, the hummingbirds are going to love because of the nice little throated neck, um, go for that. It doesn't have to be a native. Not all pollinator plants are natives. Um, so do a little research, but I'm going to give you a bunch of uh, suggestions for both uh, trees, shrubs, and perennials. I'm not going to go crazy. Obviously, there are a million categories of things that we can use. Um, but while I can't get out and do any work in my own garden, um, I wanted to try and give you guys some suggestions of things you can start looking for when your uh, garden center's open in your area. Obviously, we're not doing any planting here at this point. I'm still doing seed starting in my basement, um, and I'm potting up. Uh, probably won't start potting up my dahlias for another month or so. Um, so little by little, spring is going to come. I believe it starts at five o'clock this afternoon. Um, and this is, so it's Monday. <laughs> um, I think today's the 20th and, uh, or the 21st, no, 20th. And um, so I hope you're having a good day in your garden. Um, let me know what's happening uh, in your neck of the woods. Do you guys still have snow? Are you able to start planting? I'm not even doing containers. Like I said, I just showed you. I do have some tulips that I'm putting out, and I'll check the other ones in the hoop house. 
I put a lot of my tulips this year in containers because I'm, I still have a lot of trouble with voles um, and I didn't want them all eaten. That just didn't make sense. I bought 960 bulbs last year. Not worried about the alliums, not worried about the daffodils, you know, but the tulips, I'm worried about the tulips. Uh, the voles and the rabbits will probably eat the tulips. So I wanted to get things in containers. So, you know, it, it is what it is. That's one of the joys of gardening, and you just have to take it um, the way it is and uh, keep on going. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to get into uh, all the pollinator um, plants that you might consider, and I hope you have a great week.